In this video, we'll discuss SI prefixes and how to use them as conversion factors in dimensional analysis problems. In science, we use equations to solve problems, and equations are essentially just the relationship between different types of measurement. The symbols in an equation are the little letters, and they represent the types of measurement, and that's different from the units, which are the letters that come after the number in the measurement itself. So for example, mass would be grams, volume would be liters, density is grams per milliliter. There are a lot of different types of measurement and they each have their own symbols and then a variety of different types of measure. In the metric system, we have the base unit and then we also have the prefixed unit. And we use this chart to help show the relationship between the base and the prefixed unit. And so here are some base units, and these are all the prefixes for those base units. So an example would be grams and decagram. So the relationship between a gram and a decagram is that one decagram is equal to 10 to the first power grams. So in other words, a decagram is bigger than a gram. But if you compare that to a decigram, a one decigram is equal to 10 to the negative 1 grams. So a decigram is smaller than a gram. And then if we have a dimensional analysis problem, the, the challenge is to actually read this chart and use it. And here's a, here's a trick. This is how you do it. So first you look at your dimensional analysis problem. Yeah, 51.0 grams are equal to however many kilograms. So we're converting from grams to kilograms. So you find the base unit, which is grams. We know that grams is the base unit because both units have grams in common. The prefixed unit is K because K comes before G. So we look at the chart and we find K, that's kilo. So all you really do is if you were to write this on your conversion chart, you would just write the base unit next to K and then 10 to the third, like that. So one kilogram is equal to 10 to the third grams. So in other words, when you convert from grams to kilograms, one kilogram is equal to 10 to the third grams. If you convert from milliliters to liters, you do the same thing. You find the base unit, which is liters, because both units have liters in common. And then you find the prefix. Prefix is M. And now sometimes we think that that's the base unit, but notice like meters, for example, notice how liters is common to both. So that's how you know that liters is the base unit. But M actually means milli for milliliters. Again, you'll take the base unit and write it next to both of these columns. So one milliliter is equal to 10 to the negative third liters. So in other words, to convert from 1.32 milliliters to liters, it's one milliliter is equal to 10 to the negative third liters. Last example, 0.58 meters to centimeters. Notice they both have meters in common. So that's your base unit. Centi is the prefix because it comes before the base unit. So we use this conversion factor. M, M, you just write M here equals M. That's how you do it. It's that simple. One centimeter is equal to 10 to the negative two meters. Meters to centimeters is simply one centimeter is equal to 10 to the negative two meters. We also have imperial conversion factors or imperial uh, measurements. We won't use these very often, and then we have the conversion between metric and imperial.